fun in a way to try to hang a certain image on that. That can even work in certain practices. But in the long run, I think it's completely inconceivable. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in terms like the way that God is inconceivable. Right. So, but it, but your um, the, the way you would see God and Satan is to do very much with order and chaos. Is that correct? Yes. You yes. would see God in an almost Gnostic viewpoint as being a, a mind, a mad blind creator. Forcing us into order, would that be a, a too, too basic way to put it? No, uh, um, the Gnostic philosophies bring a, a lot of philosoph philosophical questions and problems and, uh, and, and a lot of interesting ones. And I do uh, see God as, a, as a, a, almost like a petulant child right. who, who desires nothing but devotion. And um, the Satan that I believe in desires nothing. He doesn't love me, he doesn't hate me, he's totally indifferent to me. Yes. He's indifferent to everything. And this indifference gives him the total freedom of yeah, becoming, yeah, on, being down, whatever, down. whatever he wants to be, he has become. Yeah, yeah. Right. And um, embracing that aspect of him gives me that same freedom. You know, in a way, power through indifference. At the same time, power through rage and power through love. So hate and love in equal measure until they cancel each other out and become an an all-consuming uber-emotion. Okay.